Hi, I'm Dr. Marcia Sirota, and today I want to talk about oversharing. Oversharing is an issue because it violates both the boundaries of the person who's sharing and the person who's listening, and I'll explain why. So oversharing is saying too much intimate or personal or shocking information to somebody where there isn't a context of a close relationship or a long-lasting relationship that would make it appropriate to share that kind of information. And uh, there are lots of examples of oversharing. For example, when people are dating and they're just, just at the getting to know you stage, they might reveal very intimate details about their life which are not appropriate to share at that stage of their acquaintance. Or sometimes in my psychotherapy practice, patients of mine have overshared things about themselves that I didn't need to know. And sometimes in my personal life as well, um, friends or acquaintances might start talking about things which are really inappropriate. And I've even said to them on occasion, you know, that's none of my business. You don't need to tell me that. Now there's sometimes when oversharing can be even assaultive. For example, when somebody shares very shocking or graphic, violent or sexual details to another person, that can be seen as a verbal form of assault because you know those images and those thoughts can't leave your mind once you've heard them. So when someone shares really graphic, violent or sexual content with you, that can be construed as a form of assault. It's a verbal assault, nevertheless, it's an assault. So that's violating the boundary of the listener because this person is sharing this very graphic information, most likely to get some kind of reaction or because they are angry or upset with this person and they want to attack them in a verbal way or because they feel like they're in a one down position and by sharing this graphic content, they feel that that's gonna put them in the one up position because the person on the receiving end is gonna become flustered or upset and then they're going to feel on top of things. So there are a number of reasons why someone might overshare this kind of explicit graphic material with somebody, whether it's violent or sexual with the other person, but it's usually to gain some sort of advantage or because they're angry and they want to attack. Now, some people overshare because they don't understand about boundaries for themselves. They don't know how to protect their own privacy and keep their own personal information sacred. So understanding that there are things to share at each stage of the relationship. For example, at the very beginning, when you're just getting to know somebody, you share very general information. And then as you're getting closer, you might share more personal details of your history and your family. And then in the next stage, you might share your hopes and dreams and your goals. And then in the next phase, you might share some of your personal experiences and then even later, you might go very deep and vulnerable and share some very meaningful or hurtful experiences that you've had in your life when there is a context of trust and understanding and safety, but not before that. So sharing before you have that context of long-term trust, understanding and safety is putting yourself at risk. And so some people overshare because they don't know how to protect themselves, most likely because their boundaries were not protected when they were growing up they didn't understand how to protect their own boundaries when they were adults. So when people are oversharing, it's not our obligation to listen. We can say, you know what? That's too much information right now for me. I don't feel comfortable hearing about this. Maybe this is something we can talk about down the road. And you know, the person might be shocked, but you're also protecting them. You're protecting yourself from hearing information that's not appropriate for you to hear. And you're also protecting the person who's sharing. So the listener never has to stay and listen to oversharing. If you're uncomfortable, you can stop it. The other day, someone was telling me some very graphic war stories of real experiences that they had. And I said to them, you know what? I don't need to know any more of that. That was enough. And really they shared too much with me and I can't get those images out of my mind, but at least I was able to stop them and make sure they didn't share anything else with me, which was a relief because that was bad enough. And you know, some people are just wounded emotionally and they just don't understand that when they're sharing things, it's going to be upsetting. And some people are unconsciously attacking with those words, but some people just don't know how to protect themselves and they don't know how to take care of themselves. So we don't have to listen. We're free to say enough, stop. That's not right for me right now to hear. That's not appropriate for me to know this thing about you. Maybe later, maybe we can talk about this later. So when people overshare, they're either violating their own boundaries or they're violating your boundaries, but either way, it's not a good thing. 
Oversharing as a rule is not so good. And we are free to say no to it. And certainly we are free to recognize that there's a stage for every level of sharing. And if it's not in the right context, we don't have to listen to it. And don't forget, when people overshare very graphic, violent or, or sexual content with us, sometimes that's because they want to cause us to feel bad for whatever reason. And we don't have to stand there and listen. We can say, you know what? I'm not gonna listen to this. This is upsetting to me. I'm gonna walk away or I don't wanna hear about this. You know, for me, I have a real sensitivity about hurting children and animals. So when people start telling me bad things about children and animals, I go, you know what? I don't need to hear this. Like there's enough bad stuff in the world. I don't need to hear those details. And sometimes I wanna go on about it and I have to be very forceful and say, no, I don't wanna hear this. And then I also have to understand that if this person keeps wanting to push it on me, that is a form of assault. And this is not a person I want to spend more time with. So we are free to protect ourselves from oversharing on the part of others. And we are also free to understand that there's a specific time and place for every level of sharing. And when people overshare, it's not necessarily the best and most healthy thing. And we don't have to go along with it. I'm Dr. Marcia Sirota talking about oversharing today. Stay tuned for more videos on mental health content.